well, I guess even in, in high school when I got to go to state and, you know, not really knowing much about training, that sparked an interest and a goal. I mean, even at that point, I had a goal of going to the Olympics sometimes in, in my life. That's what I wanted to do. And, uh, and obviously at that time, if I knew what the distance was from where I was at then to what it would take to actually just to qualify to go to the trials, I might have had a little different perspective. But, you know, I didn't think about that part. Is You know, you, you have to have dreams. It's a, so important in life, wherever you're at, to have dreams. And it's from those dreams that then you can actually have goals and then try to have an action plan to get to that point. And so I, I started out with those dreams as a young boy and, and held them, you know, even into adulthood to uh, do that. I never actually made an Olympic team, um, but I did get to go to four Olympic trials and was second alternate twice. So, so close. And then, you know, of course, there have been some Olympians that haven't set world records either. And, uh, but, uh, I, you know, I feel very blessed to accomplish the things that I did. And I know that uh, felt a gift that the Lord gave me. And so I'm appreciative of that and, and know that it wasn't all me. You know, obviously, you have to put out effort to accomplish anything of significance. And I, I guess if one thing I think about, if, if something comes easy, it doesn't usually last long and it doesn't usually mean a whole lot.